What's up, everybody? I'm here with David Liddick from Germany uh, as part of our summer interview series. When I was playing professionally in, in Germany, David was on a team that I started to, to train and, and coach. And he's been out to the U.S. to work with me four out of the last six years, come to camps, workouts. This summer he worked a bunch of camps for me. And uh, before he left, uh, head back overseas, David, I wanted to ask you, you know, being in the U.S. quite a bit, and obviously, being an international national player, you still you still play overseas. What are some of the differences in the game that you've picked up from being in the U.S. compared to basketball in, in Germany, in particular? Uh, the first thing which comes up to my mind is probably that everybody's like way more skilled, like at an early age. Like people start playing way earlier. In what what country? In America. Yeah. <laughs> in America. Yeah. Uh, like way better like trainers like we don't have trainers like you do over here like for you for example like somebody who's just working out even individual individually with everybody so it's like probably the biggest difference that the game's way way further in uh, America than it is in Germany. Right. So you know playing in the US basketball is obviously a much more popular sport than, than it is in, in Germany now obviously o overseas you know the popularity of basketball is, is coming up uh, Obviously, it's huge in, in the United States. What are some of the differences that you've picked up from players skill-wise that differ from the skills that players have in, in Germany that, that they focus on? Um, I feel like the game's way faster. Like players focus more on pick and roll and stuff over here. Like way like going to the basket way faster and being more athletic in general. Where uh, in Germany, like most players, like the best players coming out of a country like Germany or Europe in general are mostly like shooters. Shooters. That's what I feel like. Like looking at at Dirk, like probably the best example, or Peja Stojakovic or somebody like that. They just they just create shooters and probably like the one of the like some of the best European players ever. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. I think overseas you'll definitely notice whether it's position one through five, guys are going to make shots. You can't leave anybody open if they're an international basketball player. Where in the U.S., generally there's some guys that you don't necessarily have to guard. But you better protect the paint because they're gonna attack you at the at the rim. Uh, last question but regarding rules. I know having played basketball overseas, there's a lot of different rules or variations of rules. What's one of the biggest ones that you've picked up from having played basketball in the U.S. compared to in Germany? Um, probably the top, like looking at the shot clock, like that there's no shot clock in high school or just 30, 34 seconds in college. Uh, they just dropped to the 30. Okay, so. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's probably like a big difference because like in Germany you start playing with the shot clock, I think when you're 11 or 12 years old. And the next thing's probably traveling. Like you can like look, watching the NBA, like you can take three steps, you can t walk with the ball sure. before putting it on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. Where in Germany you're just going to get called for traveling if you take one step before you start dribbling in a fast break. Yeah. Yeah. No matter if, you, if it's a clear lane or anything. So it's be show real quick, what is a travel in Germany? I mean, how easy is it to travel? Like when you catch the ball, take one step and start dribbling, it's going to be travel. For sure. So a lot of times in the U.S. you can kind of catch the basketball on the run and put the basketball down. That's a travel in Germany. You have to literally catch the basketball, put it down before you even really start to, yeah. to pivot a whole lot for it not to be called a travel. That's a huge difference. And the shot clock thing, a lot of Americans don't understand it. You know, at a young age, you're playing with a shot clock as a, as a little, click, little kid. And the pace of the game, although the athleticism might be less playing overseas, the pace of the game is pretty quick because of the shot clock and the time the players have, they get used to that at a very young age playing where, you know, high school basketball over here will have teams that'll stall and they'll use a minute, two minutes off the clock. And it kind of gets gets pretty ugly. So David, thanks for your time. That's a little bit of insight from an international uh, basketball player, David Liddick out of Germany. David, thanks for your time and thanks for watching another video in our summer interview series. Peace.